Uh, Connor, second bold prediction. Because I can't talk about <clears> this anymore. I'm gonna like <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. All right. So my second one, it's uh you could say it's a little far out there, and by a little I mean a lot. And I'm not 100 percent set on this yet, but it was just something that was kind of just roaming in the back of my mind. But I'll say Zardus for Golden Boot. Oh, get oh, out! Wow, <laughs> you thought mine was you thought my first one was bad. You need to leave. Uh huh. <laughs> so uh, I just feel like he's been a different player since he came to Columbus. I feel like he's kind of found a home, and uh, I mean he's got 33 goals in his two seasons there so far, which you know isn't. Obviously, that wouldn't even that probably wouldn't even compete with Vela, but um, you know Zlatan's gone this year. Vela's second year, maybe there's somewhat of a sophomore slump. Maybe he's just not as interested this year. Um, and I really like what they've done behind Zardes with the team, just picking up Nagby, picking up uh, Zellerian, and having Pedro Santos, and then possibly Luis Diaz or Yunus Mukhtar. I just think that there's a lot of people that can give him the ball and like really put him into positions to score. And I feel like last year he kind of dipped off because there really wasn't anybody behind him to help him out. You know, Iguain really wasn't much of a uh, – he didn't really have much of an influence last year. He was year. hurt all year, right? So I think – huh? He was hurt all year, right? Yeah, well, exactly. Not going to have an influence from the bench. <laughs> so, yeah, I just think that the, the guys behind him could really – Oh, and also they picked up uh, Adi, who I think could be a useful addition to help him get rest if he needs rest, so he's not getting too tired. That's a really interesting argument. I think you made it really, really well because now you've got me thinking about it. Um, the, you just you yeah, did, I mean, for, you did forget happen. the point. <laughs> you did forget the point where you said Joseph Martinez is the worst striker in the league. Um, but that's okay. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to leave the podcast. <laughs> no, but I think you did a really good, I think that's a really really good argument and you might see him. I wasn't he top like top 3 at one point last year for a decent stretch. Wasn't he in the running for a while? Yeah, week 1. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been that year or the year before where he was he was up there for a while cuz I know I had him in my fantasy team for like weeks cuz he just kept scoring. Yeah, 2 years ago he scored 20. Yes, um, that that's what it was. He, sure was he was in point. that run. So if he can if he can find that form, you've got a good shout there, Connor. Yeah, I mean, at, two years ago he also had Iguain behind him. That's why I think that having these guys behind him will help him a lot. That's a great shout. Mm-hmm.